Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 17th of 2023. Well, it is titled unexpected clouds toward the Andromeda galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the Andromeda galaxy, also known as M31. And we see that as the galaxy, large galaxy off to the right. And this is a large spiral galaxy in our own local group of galaxies close to our Milky Way, only about two and a half million light years away. Now that sounds like a tremendous distance and of course it is compared to anything we are used to. However, on the scale of the universe that is right next door in terms of galaxies, whereas we have galaxies that are many hundreds of millions and even billions of light years away from us. Now what we're looking at here is actually the unusual blue arcs that are seen uh, just down and to the left of the Andromeda galaxy. These were recently discovered and appear to be oxygen emitting arcs. So they are what they mean by oxygen emitting is that oxygen is excited and caused to glow by these uh, by this, this material. So something is exciting the oxygen causing it to glow and give off this very distinct color. Now what we don't know for sure is exactly where these are located. We haven't been able to determine a distance to them yet. So could they be way out there millions of light years away by Andromeda? Or are they a part of our own galaxy? So that is something we don't know. And until we determine that, it's difficult to say exactly maybe what they are or what is causing them. We do note that other galaxies do not seem to show this type of this type of emission. So we only see it here with Andromeda or at least Andromeda is the only place that they have been detected yet. Now these have been detected by amateur astro astronomers using the uh, various commercial telescopes. And why would they be discovered that way as composed as opposed to professional astronomers and larger telescopes? Well, the large telescopes take an image of only very small parts of the sky. So they are designed to look at very small regions and not big regions like this. This covers several times the size of our full moon and most big telescopes will only cover a tiny fraction of that at a time. So they would miss large scale structures such as this because they're focusing on much smaller regions. So the continuing studies of this will hopefully help us to better understand this. Will it be telling us something about our own galaxy that we don't know as of yet? Or will it be telling us something new about the Andromeda galaxy and other galaxies out there in the universe? So that was our picture of the day for January 17th of 2023. It was titled Unexpected Clouds Toward the Andromeda Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be JWST lensing. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.